or YouTube, welcome back to the Elect of God YouTube channel. Chosen ones, you have you have like this insane lust or strong desire for knowledge. Like you never you never stop learning. You have like this you have this like inner like as uh, ever since you were a child, you just have this crazy you have this crazy like lust for knowledge. Like you're always trying to learn things. You you like I bet you if you're watching this video every day Every day of your life, you're always researching something. You're always learning about something. You have like this insane curiosity about things. You'll be like, why does this work this way? What, why do people do this? Or why is this like this? Why is that like that? How does this work? Why is this like this? You have these endless amounts. You have these endless questions as if you're a chosen one. You've always had these questions ever since a child. Like, I bet you when you were ever, even when you were probably like, you could have been only like six, seven years old, eight years old, nine years old. You were probably wondering like, because I used to have these same exact questions. I, I used to wonder all the time, like, how do we just appear in this life? Like, I used to be like, how do we appear in this life? We're in this ball, you know, the planet Earth. And outside planet Earth, there's all these stars and space and, <clears throat> and darkness. And we're in this little ball, right? And I used to think ever since I was a child, like, I would talk, I would have these conversations in my mind. Usually these would, these would come in the night before, before I'm sleeping. I would always have these conversations. I'd be like, how does this work? Like, how does, like, how do, how do we just appear here? And I used to even think, I used to even think like, um, so much to where I'd be like, how am I controlling this body? Like, I'd be like, I'd be like, uh, how do I control my body? How do I just like move around and everything? I'm like in this body and they're, they're in their body. I used to think these things. And I would say to my, you know, worldly, worldly friends that like, don't think about these things. And they'd be like, you're thinking too much. You sound crazy or blah, 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 like this, but you're, as a chosen one, you've always had this insane, like, insane lust to know things, to know the truth about things. You can't, it's not even in you to just, like, accept, like, kind of just, like, accept things for, accept a lot of things for what they are. You have to learn, you'd be like, but why is it like that? You oh, you you have, you have, like, endless amounts of questions. So when, when God, when God created you, when he took you out this world, he gave you a lot of things. He gave you spirit. He also gave you he also gave you the ability to learn things, ability to learn and the, the, like the love to learn things, the love to know about things. Like you just have this lust for knowledge. You're, you're the supremely intelligent as a chosen one. You've always been intelligent. If you're watching this video, I know you can relate, but you've always been intelligent to the point where a chosen one is so intelligent to the point where normal things, like whatever's normal kind of bores you in a way. If you know what I mean, like you're kind of just like, eh, like that's that's simple. Like it just bores me. I don't even want to talk about that or think about that. And you start thinking about things that are like really big and like kind of things you never get answers for, but you can't stop thinking about it. Like it's like what you know, just like how does how did the earth appear and everything? How did is there a god? Was there a god? Is is everything just created? Is evolution true? Is this true or is that true? You just have these endless amounts. You have these endless questions. As a chosen one and as a chosen one because of that because of that intelligence that, that god gave you you learn things like this like you, you could be you could have no knowledge about something today and then tomorrow you could have like you could have so much knowledge about it you almost you're almost a master in a way you'll know you'll know it like you'll just learn things like this like if you want to learn about it you learn it if you have the job to learn it you'll learn it so fast and know about it extremely fast so like you have you have this lust for knowledge it's not this that's completely different from other people. Like you don't think about the same exact things. You think about things that are out of the ordinary, as they say, or just things that are different. And as a chosen one, you have wide open, discerning eyes, discerning spiritual eyes. That's why you have these questions too, because you, you always, you've always seen things as like, when people see, they just see, you know, the material world. They'll, they'll just, they'll just be like, oh, it is what it is. They don't really question anything. They're just like, you know, I'll live. But for you, you've always been like, why you know say it's like a person you're like why does this person like act like this like what's in their head for them to act like this or like why why is this built this way or why isn't it done that way or wasn't like you have all these questions like these questions that like no one no one else really thinks about because of that intelligence god gave you you've you have you have this this you just have this insane desire to learn things to know about things to question things you question everything if you're a chosen one you probably question everything just whatever questions you have like they'll just be they'll just be like like you could you could try to talk about it to like normal people and they'll just they, they won't even try they don't even want to think about it or like they won't even uh well they'll claim they'll be like oh you're just you're just crazy or you're thinking too much it's like no you're not crazy you you just want to you just want to know things you want to know why things are a certain way that's that's how you've always been at birth and i'm sure ever since you were young 
school being basics you know school being basic school being pretty simple school was probably super easy to you if you even tried up you probably had really good grades when you were really, really younger this uh especially for when you were in like elementary school or like middle school when you're really like really young you were super intelligent like you probably had all a's in your classes or you, you probably didn't even try that hard it was super easy you learn things like this and uh this is funny ever since birth a, a lot of chosen ones like started walking like before they were even one years old i think i started walking if I remember correctly, when I was, I think, 10 months old, when I started, when I started walking, I think I was 10 months. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I need, I need, I need to recap. I need to remember. I think it was 10 months. I think it's 10 months. So you, you probably learned how to walk really fast. And, uh, I, I speak two languages too. I speak Albanian and English because I was, I was born in Albania. I came to America when I was four. And, uh, I learned like the Albanian English language really fast. Like I was like, I was five years. I was five years old. I was really good at spelling in English, uh, listening in Albanian. I was I was able to speak English really well. I remember when I was like, I think I was in fifth grade or something. I got second place in the school spelling bee, and that was in fifth grade. I, I lost to like a word. I don't even remember what word it was, but like, you were just really good. You were just really good at things. Like math was probably pretty easy to you. Math is for for me. Math is not. I just hated math. I was really good at math in middle school and high school and college. I hated, I hated it completely. I never wanted to do it. So my grades went down, whatever. But like, I didn't care about that, like calculus or whatever, like algebra, like this stuff doesn't even matter. It's completely useless. So, um, <clears throat> useless majority of the time for like 99% of things, it's useless. But, um, but yeah, as a chosen one, like you have like this, you never want to stop learning. You, It's like this, like you have like this drive to learn things to like, you have like this curiosity to learn things. You're always questioning things. Like, why is this like that? You always question why, why people act certain ways, why things work certain ways. You just have this endless, this endless, like your brain never stops being curious about things or knowing about things. You can never like, as a chosen one, you could, you could kind of never like just say, oh, it is what it is. You know, like you can't really say, you can't really say that because you never, you never stop. Like you never want to stop learning. It's like you have this urge to never stop learning. Because as a chosen one, you've been gifted with a lot of intelligence. But this this intelligence that you have, too, you have to be careful with it. Because you know when they say ignorance is bliss. And ignorance is bliss. But as a chosen one, it's not even possible for you to be ignorant. Your eyes your eyes are too open. You you, you see everything. You, you, have, you have discerning eyes. You see everything. So it's like, whether you like it or not, you'll, you'll see the truth about things. So a lot of intelligence could bring a lot of sorrow. I think uh, there was a Bible quote about this. I can't remember the exact Bible quote. I need to see it again, but it said something about intelligence equals more sorrow with it. Because the, the more you learn, the more intelligent you are, the more you know about the things of this world, the more sorrow you feel. You kind of feel you, like a lot of truths are heavy and everything and they're heavy. So you feel, you just feel down about them because it's normal. But as a chosen one that just, you have these wide open eyes. So you, you see, you can't really, Nothing could really be hidden from you. You'll find that you'll find out about it. So you'll find about the like truths about things, like what the reality is and everything. You can't, you can't even live in ignorance as a chosen one. Your your eyes are always wide open because you're put out of this world. So you you can't, you you don't have any ignorance about you. You can't be ignorant because you have to learn things. Like if you if you hear about something that's weird, immediately you, your curiosity is gonna go up. You're gonna want to learn about it. You're not gonna put it off, even if you know it's good to ignore it. Like. This curiosity that you have, this like this intelligence that you have, you you, you like want to learn it because you, you you've been gifted with this. You've been gifted with a really high intelligence. So whenever you're intelligent, you always question things over and over again and be like, why are they like this? Why are they like like you need to figure it out? But yeah, it's a good and a bad thing. It's a good thing because you're aware of everything, but it's also a bad thing is it could it could put you down. A lot of things could put you down, and you don't wanna you don't wanna hear about it or you don't wanna like you just don't wanna hear about it, but your desire for learning like doesn't let up it doesn't let up you don't even want to like you don't even want to you don't want to stop learning like you'll learn things and then master that learn another thing master that and it's not even with just learning if you want to do like you're learning but it's like you got to learn and do something it's not just learning like say if you're like say you wanted to get in really good shape you want to get like ripped or in really good shape you you can learn, you can learn, like, whenever you really try as a chosen one, like, whenever you're, you truly feel inspired by something, like, you could perfect something so fast, like, say you wanted to get ripped, you find out the right foods to eat, how many calories you need, you could, you could, you could make this into, like, a work of art, you could literally, 
track all your calories perfectly, eat the perfect foods. Because as a chosen one, whenever you do something, you want to, you always want to perfect it. It's, a, it's in you to want to perfect something. So whenever you do something that you like, you're going to want to perfect it. So whether that's getting in shape, whether that's building something, whether that's opening up a channel, you're always going to want to perfect it and make sure every everything is like perfect. It's just in you. You're a high, you're a high achiever by nature. You've always been like this. You're a high achiever by nature because that's how God made you. He made you out of this world. He made you ambitious and like high achieving and doing things that are out of the ordinary. So whenever you've you've probably done certain things that you're like passionate about or you liked that you actually truly liked that gave you inspiration, you probably not only did you get good at these really fast, like good at them really fast, but you chat you you basically perfected it. You got so you got so good at that where you became you basically became almost almost a master, but also as a chosen one, you have plenty of different interests. You have millions of different interests. So you could probably become amazing at a lot of things, master of none. But once you find that thing that you master at, you'll be you'll be like one of the best at whatever that is. You'll be truly one of the best at that thing that you're doing. But but yeah, chosen ones that just your your desire to learn, your desire to like learn about things, question things is extremely high. Like it can't it can't really be tamed. Like you'll it's like it's in you to know about these things. Like you gotta know about this. Like you're you, the desire you have for learning is like it's just extremely high. And I'm sure you can relate to this video if you're watching. But that's the topic for the video. I hope you guys learned something from this video. I know I've been reading comments, so I know my videos are helping. I hope this one could help just as much. But uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. You know, turn those notifications on. Comment because the comments are my favorite. My definitely my favorite thing to read. And also like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.